What's going on everybody? This is Sable Fire 4, standard match with Dusknor, Pijoto, Dusknor, Spell Tag, however you want to refer to it, deck. Uh, as we get closer and closer to the release of the Sword and Shield TCG set, uh, there's around a month left. But, you know, I always wondered how can they, you know, they bring out the games and normally they want, they would want the TCG set, the corresponding TCG set uh, of the generation to come out around the same time, but... You know, it's just a couple of months difference, but anyway. It's the same case with uh, Sun and Moon, I believe, X and Y, yeah, all of them. So, gonna start playing first, and with Professor Elm, we'll get another Duskull and two Beachies. Since I've opened up with another Duskull, I've got two, so we have enough for now. And let's see, the Spinner, get the Sedge Energy. I really wish they just give us back the Professor's Letter. I prefer that a lot better compared to this. Uh, I mean, yeah, the plus is good when you play second and you can get three energies. And you got stuff like Ultra Balls and what have you. Uh, but for the most part, you know, getting always two is consistently better. So, put the Psychic Energy on the Benched Duskull and the, the Spell Attack on the active one. Kind of being conservative there. I mean, my opponent did open up with the Jirachi, but... You don't know, he might find a way to KO the Duskull in the first turn. It only has 40 HP. And he just went ahead and used uh, Caitlyn and Cynthia to draw a few cards. I'm pretty sure he discarded the Power Plant, which is, is good to be honest. I like when my opponent gets rid of the Stadium, because then I know that mine is probably going to stick. Shrine of Punishment, it's a great Stadium. You want it to hang around if your opponent uses GX Pokemon. And I've got three. Uh, I have enough, but it's not like I run four. Uh, I wish I had space for four. And it's just going to play down this Marshadow and pass the turn. That humongous hand didn't do anything with it. Uh, okay. It gives me the opportunity to do something here. So let's use Cynthia. I evolved into Pijoto. And no... Oh, no, wait, actually. We do have the treasure. So I can get the Dusk Dusknor and go for a big attack already. This card, the Psychic Energy, um, I don't have another one, but the other stuff in hand is a lot more valuable. So Rare Candy, get the Dusknoir out. And let's put the, well, let's use Aramil first. And uh, let's get the Elm, I think is the best thing. I don't have a supporter. Uh, it's great because, you know, Elm, you know, the supporters that usually just get you basic Pokemon are kind of dead after a couple of turns, but in this case with Pijoro, this becomes almost like a draw card. So it's nice. And just do 40 damage on the Jirachi. It's almost kind of silly that we can KO this little Jirachi in one shot, but that's how it is. The Skunor only does 60, and with the resistance, it's just 40. I wouldn't be able to get the KO anyway. Uh, but next turn, if he leaves it there, you know, it's going to get KO'd. So communication, let's see what my opponent's going to do. Uh, shuffle back the Makargo, uh, the one from Celestial Storm. Haven't seen that for a bit. And get one of the Slugmas. That uh, interesting looking Slugma there. I'm pretty sure this is a revamp artwork from an old set, but I could be wrong. Looks good though. And Welder. Okay, so if he's going to do that... You know, this is probably going to be using some sort of Macargo GX deck or just a Macargo attacker if you're going to put the fire energies on that dude. I mean, the Macargo that puts cards on top of the deck, of course, nobody would be stupid enough to attack with it. At least I hope. And Palpat, shuffle in a few supporters back in the deck. And my opponent going to go with a switch there. Uh, I guess he's going to sacrifice Marshadow instead of Jirachi. And spend the switch. Hey, uh, whatever suits you, buddy. Uh, Professor Elm's lecture. Let's get Pijoro and wait, no, I don't need double Pidgey. Uh, that's a mistake. We need double Pijoro. Right, right. Yeah, can't be, can't make any mistakes here. So, I mean, by next turn, I should have all of my Pijoro engine uh, in effect. You know, three Pijoros. That's how many I run in this deck. Aramel, let's get, I mean, no matter what I get, I can't really use. Let's get a Dusknoir, just in case I see like a rare candy with the other one. 
and uh, we see Volkner, which is good enough, close. I can use that next turn and get a rare candy. And, you know, the good thing about this deck, of course, is that Duskner only works with one energy, so, you know, once you get a few of the pieces of the puzzle, you know, you're good to go. It's not like you need to dig for a lot of cards per turn. Things like the spell tag, you know, extras like that, of course, are great. You want to have them on your Pokemon for maximum efficiency, you know, spread the damage counters. But it's not like they're mandatory. I mean, with the meta right now, I guess you could say they are, because, you know, a deck like this needs all the help it can get if it's going to win against the better decks. But it's a tier 3 deck, maybe tier 2 deck. I don't want to say tier 2. That's too much. Maybe tier 3 deck at best. So Slocomai is in the active position, and my opponent goes went ahead and used the red and blue card, red and green card, whatever. And there is the Macargo GX over there. I mean, I guess it was kind of obvious, you could say, when you put fire energies on this dude. Uh, I wanted to use this Pokemon, to be honest, this Macargo. It's my kind of Pokemon. You know, fire Pokemon, lots of fire energies, lots of discarding to get one-hit knockouts. You guys know me, it's my kind of Pokemon. But unfortunately, it's probably too late now. It's not very good, I would say. Uh, maybe it was a little bit decent when Lost Thunder came out. Okay, so the good news is about this Pokemon is that it's just a straight attacker. There's no fancy stuff. So if he wants to kill the Dusknor, I will get my damage counter spread plus. So get rid of the Jirachi there and slightly damage the Macargo. Good, good, good. Let's promote the Duskull, and I can just go ahead and use the Volkner, might as well get that rare candy guaranteed, and then we can dig with the Pejotos. Makes the most sense. This guy, you know, he's serving me okay. You know, Skyla, of course, is better, but 9 times out of 10, you want to be getting items with uh, Skyla. Maybe sometimes I, I want to get Stadium, so that's when Volkner kind of sucks. But I suppose it gives you that lightning energy in the lightning deck, so it's balanced out. You know, it is a good card. It's just better to have things like Skyla in this case. So Ermel, let's get the Dusknor and Rare Candy. Or should I get... Um, I hope I see like another Duskull or Mysterious Treasure, but just a spell tag. Okay, let's see. Damn, I need to get another one of those uh, Duskulls out, though. Otherwise, we're going to have to use Mew and stuff. So, yeah, let's put it over there. I mean, I usually use things like Mew and the Mimikyu. You know, they work fine in this deck, too, as a attacking Pokemon. And uh, just do 60 on the Makarko there. Spread the damage. My Stadium is going to do a little bit extra. I hope it sticks. And he brings out this Silver EGX that draws cards. Disc Reload. It's a very good card, of course. Uh, it's an attacking Pokemon, too, so, you know, I don't see why many people would, wouldn't run it in many different decks. A flexible Pokemon, that's the best thing you can ask for. And, uh, oh, I think, yeah, that's the Slukma that's from EX Deoxys, I believe, but it doesn't matter. Uh, got that with Communication, Welder again, and... Uh, you know, at least he's keeping up with the prizes. Uh, he can just get another KO on the Dusknor if he wants to. So, let's... Let's see. Double Fire Energy. And... Uh, what will you do? There's the fourth one over there. I'm pretty sure just three is enough to get the KO, right? So, I don't know why you would put another one. I'm probably going to finish this dude off next turn. One, two, three, yeah. So, eight damage counters. You know, let's actually kill the uh, Slugma there before it evolves. Serves me better. And the other one, put it on the Macargo there, simple. Let's see, get another prize, and uh, it's Lily. Won't serve me very well now. But let's go ahead and promote the Mew. Mew can put in a little bit of work, too. And you know what? I think I just... I don't know. Should I just go for Pejoro? Because I got the Rare Candy and the Dusknor in hand. That's a good question. Sometimes these uh, tricky decisions you have to make. 
So let's actually use his own stadium. Discard a psychic energy and see what I got in the deck. So there are two Duskulls and I think Mysterious Treasure. So, you know, odds are I should be able to see something. And there is the other Mimikyu. I guess I can use this Pokemon too to attack. Aramel, second, and there's my Mysterious Treasure. Okay, good. That was a close one. So now I'll be able to search the Duskull that I need. Let's get rid of Lily and get you my little basic Pokemon. Uh, you know, the artwork is good, the attack is good, the ability can't be handy, even if it's a triple discard. I just wish it had more HP, like 60 or even 50. Come on, dude. I mean, it's 2000 and, well, 20 now. It was 2019 when this card was released. I don't want to be seeing basic Pokemon with such low HP. Unless it's a Magikarp or something. Okay, so go for Lana's Rod. And I can even use my supporter, Cynthia. But I think we're going to hold on to her for now. Since I've got the Candy and the Dusk, Dusknoir. And uh, this dude... He's going to survive. Let me put the... I think, I mean... Debating there a little bit. Hmm. Where should I put the damn energy? Let's put it on Duskull. I'm kind of feeling a bit paranoid in case he like pulls it or something. And uh, just KOs it. But uh, sometimes I'm just so paranoid crazy. Anyway. Let's uh, put the damage counters with new. I mean... <sighs> Let's see, target down the Jirachi. I think it makes sense. Uh, yeah, doing a little bit of mathematics, actually. You know, uh, with no shrine. Maybe that Makargo. You know, I can't KO it. I don't think I... It's in that range to get KO'd without the shrine. Uh, by just doing 60. So I think we're just gonna... Get the KO on the Jirachi. Give me another prize. And then I, I'm just gonna have to kill this dude. And that'll be it. So, Malo and Alana, my opponent, are going to heal and change up his tactic a little bit. Hey, that's fine. Go ahead and do that if you must. Uh, it has a long way to go. You know, that's the benefit of, uh, you know, regular stage 2 decks. Like, if your opponent doesn't overpower you, like, in a tier 0 way, uh, if they can just get one prize every turn against regular Pokemon, and you're doing high damage for a stage 2. You know, they're pretty okay, I mean. You know, this Dusknoir can put the work. So, we got quite a few Psychic Energies in the Discord pile. I think I need to be careful, yeah. Because that's the thing. You gotta be careful with the energies when games drag. And this game is taking a while. Another Slugma down, and maybe he'll have to use the um, Silverly to attack. Let's see. And what will you do? Jirachi is kind of stuck there, it seems. Discard a fire to get a fire. Uh, that doesn't seem too great. So there's one on Makargo. And Disc Reload. I guess he can draw cards. Yeah, that's right. That's the point. You really need a switch, don't you? Or. Yeah, a switch or a um, skateboard. And Cherish Ball. Let me guess, another Makargo. Oh no, Dedene actually. Okay. It's actually a great sitting duck. I could target that Pokemon down easily with my spell tags. Uh, let's see. Do you have the switch? Okay, the attack call. And looks like he did get stuck over there. That's great for me. Free turn. Hey, no problem. So get the Dusknor out. Indeed, indeed. And uh, let's use the Adventure back. Only one spell tag. Wow. I could have sworn I had more. What happened? Go for Cynthia. And... Uh, hmm. I think my, deck's, my deck size must be low on the low now, too. Wow. Oh, I mean... There's not really much point in digging no more, I think. Let's use Mysterious Treasure. Discard this Mimikyu. It's not going to do anything. And uh, I guess get the Duskull. Just have it in hand. Aramail. 
what I really want is a shrine actually get that out there and that'd be good we should have a few more I think I only played one Aramel number three damn it I didn't see it so my opponent is lucky oh no wait that's actually number two Aramel number two so number three there it is excellent so yeah gonna spread damage on all of your GX's like a pro and let's promote the Dusknor sort of Go for the heavy, heavy hitting. Uh, get the KO. Uh, keep putting the pressure up. That's what I need to do. I mean, I can get out another Dusknor either way. And he needs to get quite a few prizes still. So I can easily just get one out. Attack with Mew still. Uh, and there's the other spell tag. Good, good, good. Keep that in hand for now. So he's in a really rough spot. To be honest, I don't see how he can beat me you know this deck is pretty straightforward just high damage and discarding he can't really play around the spell tag effect you know if he has to kill the desk nor I'm gonna split the damage and I can even target down his small basics uh, he brought out that Macargo but it's still an easy target for me if he's gonna start healing the GX's but you know I do have to be careful we can't get uh, cocky of course, these GX Pokemon can heal when we can't get one hit KOs. Got to be wary of that. He did use one Malinella. He could have more waiting in the wing. So the Macargo little combo there with Macargo GX, you know, standard stuff. Uh, let's see, let's see. Draw a few cards too. I guess he's not going to use the ability to get an energy. Uh, but I don't think he has any more of the deck. Yes. You're going to need a recycler or something. So, let's see. What are you going to do? I mean, I don't see how he can win this game, to be honest. He will need something like the custom catchers. But those have been kind of falling out of favor, I think. I don't see them as much. Uh, people prefer the great catcher, and I prefer that too. Just a one-card double discard. Straightforward. Most of the time, you want to pull GX Pokemon anyway, so. Okay, so there's the Victini Prism. I guess he can use that to put the energies back in the deck, but he needs to get the energies for Victini to attack first. Man, can he even do that? He's in a really rough spot. So against these kinds of, you know tier 3 decks that are kind of on the same level as us of course Dusknor can perform a lot better I mean if I was playing against some sort of Arceus maybe kill the OGX deck obviously I would have had a lot more issues but you know against a deck like this you can kinda of see all of its merits shine you know one energy attack uh, solid ability compatibility with the spell tag uh, all of the good support Psychic Pokemon have, you know, good stuff. So I think all I gotta do is just keep attacking because he's not doing much and eventually he won't have anywhere to hide like what are you gonna do? Retreat into somebody else? I mean, Psyopar is gonna do 120 now since he couldn't do anything on this Dusknor. And I'm pretty much in a winning position. It's only a matter of time. You know, at best, maybe he'll get like another prize. You know, just go for that at least. Try and make the game close. Put up a fight. Okay, so he discarded the welder, but you shouldn't have any far energies in the deck. So, I don't know. Like, he might even deck himself up if he's not careful. What are you trying to do? What can you do? Should have been more careful. Now that's another thing, advantage I guess we have with this deck is that, you know, Macargo is a Pokemon that wants to get like one hit knockouts on GX Pokemon. If they're going to spend lots of resources just to get one prize against Dusknor, then it's great for us. That 160 HP, they need that extra far energy. So he promoted the Victini, but I don't know. What's that gonna do? Like, dude, uh, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. So I'm gonna use Cynthia, 
just for the hell of it, I guess. I uh, wasn't going to deck out just yet, but it doesn't matter. And uh, let's put the psychic energy on you. And just get another KO. Psy up. Easy. At this point, my opponent, you know, he's going to surrender. There's no way he can win. I don't see what he can do. Uh, he probably ran out of energies. Discarded the welder too. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's not running far crystal. Either way. So victory for me. There's the scoop. I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. Say it over and four. Thank you guys for watching. What we'll say?